Hi. In this video, I'm going to talk about high and hello. Or when you can greet someone and how to greet. So in this video, I'm going to talk about some formal and informal ways of greeting people. So first, I'm going to talk about how are you? Now, how are you? This is formal way of greeting someone, especially in English speaking countries. Now, how are you? There are some ways, there are some different ways when you can ask people or when you can say how you are or hi or hello in English speaking countries or whatever you are. The first which you can say What's up? What's up? So what's up when you say to somebody so it could be your friend and that depends how close that person is to you. If the person is pretty close to you, you may stop there and talk. If the person is not that much close to you, so that depends that you can respond and then move on. The next, next is hey man. Now hey man, when let's say that you're going somewhere and you say hey man. So when you say hey man, especially see when you have a buddy who is very close to you, you can say that, hey man. So this sounds that how you are, you're saying how are you. But the problem is girls can't use hey man, right? And of course you can't say to this uh, to girls. And the next one which you can say What's going on? See, uh, this is a little bit more, I mean, better than this. You can also say what's up, you can also say what's going on. Now what's going on, this shows or this means that, that what you've been doing, let's say if somebody is studying, so and if you say what's going on, so then the person would feel that you're asking how's your study going on or how is your study or let's talk about your study or let's talk about your life that what you've been doing okay so next is how is it hanging now how is it hanging remember that this is not how's it hanging there is no g okay so it's more like a slang and when you use slang, so then you can drop G. Most of the times in uh, North America, people, they don't use G. They don't pronounce G. For example, if you want to say sleeping, the native speakers, especially from America, they say sleeping, right? If you want to say trying, then they might say trying. If you say I'm trying to teach you, okay? So then in America or in Canada, people they might say that I'm trying to teach you, trying. They don't say, you, you don't hear actually G, but if you try to hear G, then you may not hear that, especially if the person is from Canada or from North America or from America, right? Okay, so how's it hanging? So again, this means that how are you? And the last one, if you're using this with your friend, then you might say, How are you? How are you doing? Sorry, I forgot. Okay, so again, you can see this here. I didn't write G. Again, G is kind of like disappeared here. How are you doing? 
Now, again, this means that when you say, how are you doing? So this would mean that you are just saying hi or hello. Again, I would say that if the person that is close to you, so then you would stay there and you would start talking or you would begin conversation. So these are some of the ways that you can say hi or hello in informal ways. Okay, so these all, these all are informal ways of greeting somebody in English, in informal. Okay, so now let's move on to their responses. That how you could respond if somebody asks you in this way, then how to respond, right? Or if somebody uses the formal one, so then how you should respond. Let's go for some, let's go for a formal and informal way. Okay. Okay, so now, can you guess which is formal and which is informal? Okay, so come on. I don't want to waste your time, right? Okay, so I'm giving you a clue, okay? So here, one is uh, an adjective and one is uh, an adverb, okay? So, for instance, I'm a good teacher, I'm a good person, or I'm a good boy. I'm sorry, I can't say I'm a boy, right? I'm a man now. Okay, so I'm good. So, this one, if you want to respond formally, so this isn't a good way of replying or responding to the person. So then you would say, this one is, this one is formal. If you want to say formally, if you want to reply somebody who has asked you, how are you? Then you can say, I'm fine or I'm well. Now I'm sure you must be knowing that what situations are formal and what situations are informal. For Example, if you are talking to your senior, it could be principal, it could be teacher, it could be instructor, it could be your boss, it could be your parents, it could be your relatives, it could be any person, right? If you are talking to your senior, then I would recommend to say, I would recommend to ask you, or I would recommend to ask you, say this, right? I'm fine, or you can say, I'm well. This one, but actually, to be honest, let me tell you that when people ask me that, yes, I, most of the times I use this one because this is kind of like, because uh, in day to day life that I'm, I mean, I would say that every day almost like, yeah, I'm kind of habitual of using, I'm good. So this was uh, our today's video and uh, we've talked enough. And uh, this was kind of like a different video. Usually I tend to make videos for IELTS, but this was a video for English speaking. If you want to enhance your English speaking, so be ready because I'm going to come with lots of videos like this. And if you've liked this video, please like. And you can also share this video with your friends. And if you have not subscribed to IELTS India by Arun Vashis, I would highly recommend, please subscribe that. Thank you so much for watching.